In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design an election flyer in landscape formats like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So as usual, a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this particular video will be in the description and just so you know this particular video is not in any way affiliated to any political party and even the campaign team of the person that i'll be using her picture doesn't know of this particular this is strictly for educational purpose so let's get into photoshop so since we want to create this in a landscape format i trust this is going to be very simple and fun we go to file and then we can create a new document so click on new select a particular size in this case we are using a3 click on ok we want the landscape format of this one to so go to image image rotation and then you can flip this one to either clockwise 90 or anti-clockwise 90 just that you get the landscape format that you want so in this project i intended using the actual colors from the subject attire instead of the colors from the logo so i'm going to bring my subject in and here is a picture of honorable lydia al hassan serum and i'm actually using this particular image because the first video that i made was the opponent and it was the opponent party i don't know if you understand so i'm actually using this particular uh, so that we all be on the same level okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of the background and this is one of the most highly requested videos that how do you get rid of background so i believe this will clear doubt but then if you zoom in properly over here you're going to see that a part of her earring is almost mixed with that of the background so when you have an image like this you can use a bit of strategy to get rid of this whole place and what i actually did is i went for the lasso tool over here and then you can use that to make a selection of the earring or you can use the polygonal lasso tool you just have to take your time like that so you first make a selection of the earring like that you're going to copy that and then you can see from here that we have the earring copied and now we can work on our actual image so this is a whole background a whole white background kind of so you can easily go for the magic one tool over here and then we just a left click you're going to make a selection of all the parts so you realize that when you zoom in here you can see that if we are not cut that earring it wouldn't have affected it properly and that means we can go ahead and then hit on delete to get rid of our background as simple as that now the first earring that we copied stays there and then we have our earring back and then when you zoom in over here you can see that a part of it or a portion of it couldn't delete so what you do is with your magic one two selected or if you are in photoshop cc 2019 or 20 you can use them select and mask you hold shift and then you can make a selection from here as well and then you can go ahead and hit on the delete now once this is done you want to make sure that the edges looks quite refined and very fine so you can go for either of this one either the lasso tool or the polygonal lasso tool and then once you pick that you have to see this refined edge over here you click on that refined edge and then it opens up a pop-up box for you now what we're going to focus on here is the smooth and then the further we're going to turn the smooth to around 10 anywhere from 10 upwards so like 10 to 15 let's see but then the, the higher the amount the smoother it becomes so basically i try to keep my feather around 0 0.005 something very small so that you wouldn't even notice that it actually was feathered so after you're done with that what you're going to do is you're going to hit on the delete sign a couple of times so that it is going to get rid of the actual feathers all those rough edges around the image there is a step-by-step -step video where i explain this thoroughly if you want to see that now once you're done with that all that you need to do is to press ctrl d to deselect and then you have your image very fine now you realize that we have two set of layers from here so we want to merge the earring plus that of the 
main image but then if you want to adjust it as you can see a portion of it like there is a, there is a space around here so i can easily adjust the image something like that but then you can take your time to make sure that the cutting is very well done and once you're done with that you hold control select the two layers press ctrl e to merge them and then you have one full image once you're done with this the next thing that you can do is you can add a couple of levels curves adjustment practically you can adjust this image so ctrl shift l will auto level this image ctrl l will level it and then you can adjust the levels here you can make her skin pop up a little bit like that and then when you're done you click ok and then this picture is ready to be used as our main image now this is another bummer that we're going to fix over here you can see the part the selection that we made it adds into this particular image so let's quickly fix that with the help of the clone tool the tool that most people don't really use so as for clone tool you're going to pick that one up and then you're going to hold alt to click a source or define a source make a source from here and then you can use that to actually fill the parts that is cut off so you can adjust your size and then you can use this one to fill it up very nicely just take your time and adjust the size like that and then you're good to go now just like isaac with abraham on the mountain this particular image is ready for use it is ready for the altar so you can right click on this one convert it to a smart object and you can send it to your untitled layer for workout now you can press ctrl t to transform this one out open it up like that and we created it or we converted to a smart object because you want to keep a bit of the quality i explained that in this video as well so you can position it over here and just like i said from the beginning i want to use the actual colors in an attire for this design so i'll go to my background create new fill adjustment or layer adjustment click on that I'll go to gradient and i'm going to pick any set of two gradient colors so this one these two looks good for me and i'm going to set the first color to her colors the colors in her attire so probably this one looks good okay and then i'll click okay go to the second color from here and i'm going to pick another color for my attire just any two colors from my attire is quite okay and this even matches with her party's color so it's it makes a lot of sense so you click ok and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually flip this one to around minus something something let's say minus 160 something around that area i think this looks good okay so this colors looks quite very deep let me pick a color like this one okay this looks good and i can actually make this one a little bit red i don't want it to look that reddish and from here i can reverse this particular gradient like that i open it up again and then i can drag this one some more some somewhere around here yes exactly what i'm looking for now once you're done with this all i need to do is go ahead and click ok ok from here and then you can proceed to do the rest of the things so the next thing that we do is we pick our rectangle Two and we're going to create a rectangle over here you can go overboard so you create a rectangle like that double click on the layer thumbnail over here and you can change the color to white you take your time and then you can position your rectangle somewhere around here as simple as that now let's go back to our resources we have something over there that we can use this is the retro style dotted background i drag and drop it inside of photoshop over here we want to keep it right inside of the rectangle so i'm going to right click on this one with the selection the transformation control selected and i'm going to flip this to 90 degrees clockwise i'm going to open this one up like that and i'll try and position it right over here so what i can do from here is i can right click create a clipping mask so that it fits right into the rectangle that we created i'll right click on it and rasterize the layer i'll go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then i can add a bit of blur to it so that it doesn't look that very solid for us when you're done you click ok so afterwards you can reduce the opacity very low so that it just the dotted background just faints into the 
rectangle that you created so actually i'll work around 10 or way below so around 10 to 15 anywhere around that place will work perfectly for me and then you can see that it just fades into the rectangle that you created and this is where we're going to input all our information on it so let's start right from the logos because i don't want to forget of the logos so i have the mpp logo over here and i have this one so i'll drag the mpp logo over here i'll drag it inside of this particular and then i can position it over here take my time and position it like that i'll go for the second one i think yeah this one and then i'm going to position it right inside of photoshop i'm going to unlock it and i'm going to crop that part out of it like that so something like this should work out perfectly for me and you can use the magic one too to get rid of the background if you don't really want it so i'll get rid of the background get rid of this one as well and i'm going to get rid of that i'll convert this one to smart objects and then i can send it into our document let me zoom in so that i can actually see what we're doing here and i can take my time and position it somewhere around here so it has to be on the same size or level with the main logo so you can position that over here and take your time to make sure that you have your work aligned because alignment is very necessary and important in designing now the next thing that we do is still in the exercise file so this route here i'll bring it inside of photoshop and this is also another thing that a lot of people ask me how to do it so let's see how we do that sometimes you download something that is png it it says that it is png but then it still has this background all that you need to do is go for the magic one too and then you can actually make your selection hold shift and then select every part of it that needs to be selected hit delete and then it turns into the actual png that is supposed to turn for you that's simple right so let's drag this also into our main untitled document let's place it somewhere around here so vote let's keep it there maybe we're going to try to adjust it sometime or very soon the next thing that we add is the test so i'm going to use about two fonts to make this very simple and brief the first one is going to be acrobat so i'll pick my test tool here and i'm going to change the font to acrobat now i'm going to type honorable that is on and since i want to keep the names apart so i'm going to open this one up a bit like that so i'm going to change this color right over here to the blue color this time around i'm going to use the party colors okay so i'll click ok from here the vote seems very big let me try and resize it to be a bit smaller but i still want the honorable to be underneath of the vote so vote honorable and i'm going to duplicate that by pressing ctrl j i drag it to the other part of it like this and i'm going to type in another name now since i want this name to be a bit bigger than the honorable that is why i didn't type it all on the same line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this one to be a little bit bigger like that and then the spacing here is so weird for me so what i do is i select it all go to the toggle character and i can set this one around minus 40. That works perfect i'll click ok and then we're good to go now I'll position this one right over here and underneath of this one we're going to have another knee don't worry about the spacing we're going to fix that right very soon so what i do next is i'm going to duplicate this particular lydia bring it over here go to the test that i have and i'm going to select the name i didn't want to get the name wrong that's why i wrote it to keep us on the same line and i'm going to paste it right over here select it all press ctrl t and then i can resize it something simple like that so you take your time to resize it and make sure that it is aligned like that and we are good to go so once you have all of these ones you can select starting from the serum to this particular vote for and i'll select all of that press ctrl g to group that and you can see that when i press ctrl g i have this whole thing selected and i can open it up as big as i want that is the focus aside the image that is the focus so 
you can take your time to make sure that it is positioned and aligned very neatly the next thing that we do is we go back to the rectangle here pick a rectangle create a very small rectangle over there and we're going to use the color red so double click on the layer thumbnail pick your color you can go for the dark red from here or because i don't want to use something so red it's it's it feels awkward and then i can have it over here i have another test so i'm going to pick my test tool create a new test now you can easily change this particular t font to poppins so poppins poppins is bold and i'm going to choose the medium over here so that it can actually look good and you can transform it to make it i said i'm using just two fonts for this design so you can bring it down select it plus the rectangle bring it down over here a little bit so that it has a little bit of space to breathe and from there the next thing that we add is another test so the rest of it will be test 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 and we're going to copy the ayawa so west wagon and we're going to paste it right over here we're using the font acrobat so acrobat poppins acrobat we move okay so we're going to select all of this one change the color back to blue so that it can be seen and then we're going to change the the boldness to quite bold so that it can also be seen as well so constituent c i have to add another y over here and i'm going to press ctrl t to select all of that and i can open it up like this this even looks very thin let me try the extra bold here yes you can use the toggle character to close up the space here that is if you want to and the last thing that we do is press ctrl j to duplicate this one drag it underneath here and we add the moto or the car i don't know so you copy that one and you can paste it over here now what you do is you're going to select all of it change the color to red and then you can bring it underneath of here simple as that and the last thing you do is you pick your rectangle tool as well try to create a rectangle here something very small like that and you can change it back to blue and you can position it over here make sure that it's in alignment with the test so once you're done with everything you can just take your time to make sure that the spacing the alignment here it looks well and so that the work will look quite balanced right so when you get the full time make sure that your work is balanced everything is aligned and you're good to go and if the candidate has something like social media handles you can basically place it over here the thing about this particular design was that it is very minimal the information wasn't that plenty so you see that the design has a lot of space to breathe and then it's quite very simple and very minimal so yeah that's it that's how you create a very simple landscape election flyer for any candidate or clients you can try this out with the resources in the link and show me your results on instagram at say underscore innocent i hope this video was helpful and you learned a thing or two from this particular tutorial do leave a like and then a comment and a share will be very much appreciated thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and bye